So hiya kittens. We are revisiting Perdita. I was given some advice from the developer. So let's hope that advice works. As you can see, I'm kind of blitzing through this. Just because I already know where certain things are and that just got me again. Are you serious? The stupid can. This thing. This thing. Are you kidding me? Alright, so this is going to freak out. The crow's going to come at me. Everything is shit. I'm going so fast that like everything's happening all at once. This is insane. Alright. Spooky! Hi! Spook spook! Oh, I got blood on me. Am I like dying? Like I know there's a health aspect in this game, but that's the room I need. I have the key to this already. this and now I get caught in the door here's the guitar we what did I miss Again. I found it. I found the dining room key. Now we can continue. Little creepy doll guy's not back though. Here, I'm gonna close that door. Hi. Thank you for throwing a wooden crate at me. Like, I can't believe you'd be so disrespectful to Julia and Charles. I don't know what that sound is, but it sure is creepy. I can't take this. This is a telescope. If these styles are going to come and attack me. So I can't get into the vanity. Brain. Yum. My favorite type of thing to eat being zombie kitty. Right, so we got light. Julia journal number five. My husband Charles and I would rarely have a guest for dinner, but when we did, I made sure everything was perfect. I forgot where this brain came from, but it would be the last thing I ate before I died. It tasted particularly sour, with a slight sweetness to it. It reminded me that even in the worst of humanity, we can find some things to cherish. My sweet Charles, how I wish I could paint a picture to illustrate this feeling I'm having right now. Oof, such a gross and disgusting bathroom. What's going to happen to me in here? Jesus! Hi! Arrow pointing up? Oh, that sounds so annoying. Okay. Can I open this? No, but this is another journal. Julia journal number six. Here shows us our past, present, and future. Mine is crafted with the finest black obsidian with a handmade bronze frame. 
I have spent countless hours looking into the abyss within myself. I am beginning to understand I have a beast within me, a certain urge we all possess, something I must control. In the mirror, I see my future. I see me being alone, finally united with my unborn little boy. I see nothing. There is nothing within my soul. Nice little dollies. Uh, I don't know what the arrows are pointing to, but we'll figure that out. Fishing room door. Said so something about the fishing. Do 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 do. I think I might have dropped it somewhere in the bathroom. Back to the bathroom. Which is in here. Dropped it somewhere in the bathroom. Let's get the flashlight out. Let's see, anything sparkly, anything shiny? I don't know why there's arrows here. I keep thinking, wanting to say it's there. I don't even reflect there. Oh. Oops, I meant to take that. Equip. Use. Use. I... whatever. Hi. Was that Julia? I got the gas. I must go back to the stairs. But I couldn't pick up the gas. Let's go back to the fishing room. There we go. Hello? Oh, jeez. What keeps squishing? I don't like that. I need a key. Oh, jeez. Hi. Uh, hi, little boy. I'm not your mama. Oh, jeez. Are you possessed? This is totally like the exorcist. I love the paintings. Okay. And I have the bedroom key. Oh, it's like the never-ending story book. Can I? No. Take the binoculars. 
Julia Journal number 9. For a long time, Charles and I tried everything to have a child. When countless attempts failed, I would blame Charles for it. Even though I knew it was because of my body, I decided to make my own child into a doll. I put a wish spell to turn this doll into a real child. Eventually, he would become alive at night. I loved him, but Charles never could accept him and hated me for what I have done. Hi, or we're just gonna preemptively oops do this. I'll turn night mode on, but I'm kind of like, oh, 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 oh. how do we turn night mode? Okay. Oh, jeez. Way too many mannequins. Way too many mannequins. Wish spell. May the goddess and god of light and love. You see the orb? There's ghost in here. Grant me my wish and quiet my heart. I place my desire in your hands for you to do as you will and as I deserve. So mote it be. Cool. Julia Journal number 10. I sometimes lock myself in the mannequin room. Sometimes I practice turning them alive. Charles has said he saw one of them standing beside our bed late at night. I tell him not to worry. I have them under control and they trust me indefinitely. Whoops. You might have them under control and they might trust you. Oh, he's alive and he's moving. Oh. Oh, love this creep factor. She follows. Hi, baby. Ugh. You're so creepy. I love you. Can we be friends? Oh. Voodoo dolls with the mark of death. My life as a black magician by Ferrant. Okay. Where was the bedroom? Hi. I don't like you. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. All right, let's get night mode off. Night mode's a little bothersome for me. Uh, lots of hands. I don't have gasoline. Let's see what spell this is. Ooh, a sleep spell. By this candle I do sleep, hidden from the day in the night so deep. O Lady Moon, guide my dreams. Cover me with your beautiful beams. As the candle flame dies, please close my eyes. Allow me to wake in the warmth of sun. Oops, I keep hitting that button now that I'm like... Huh... Julia Journal number 8. I think I'm still missing like... I know I did 1, 2, I saw 4, I saw 5, I saw 7 and 8. I think I'm missing 3. My husband Charles believes in his savior Jesus Christ. I do not believe in religion. I believe it enslaves us into thinking a certain way. I am, however, highly spiritual. I can sense energies all around us. I let Charles put his savior above our bed. At night, I feel the statue's dead eyes staring at me. I keep hitting that button. Is that Charles? Ooh. The perfect piece of art.
Mannequin drawer key. What's out here? That creepy thing. Equipped. Whoops. Use. What key are we? Loft key. Alright, so we're going to do this. Equipped. Hit this. Use. My health is full. My health is full. Like, I, I don't get that, but that's fine. That is fine. No, the loft is this way. Oh, you see the... Julia Journal number 11. I always keep the loft room door locked. I have been creating my own little world in this place. My healing sessions with visitors also take place here, hence why the additional beds. I love helping my patients. I would record our sessions through the answering machine on tapes. I would edit them on floppy disk on an old PC, but all of this went horribly wrong on the 8th of September. Lately, a dark presence has been lurking in the house. I can feel it in the walls, in the air, in my mind. An intruder is... Okay. An intruder is looking in the house. An intruder which the eyes cannot behold. I am afraid I cannot keep this secret anymore. I, Julia Brown, murdered my last patient with an axe to the core. I even tried eating his brain in the dinner room afterwards. I tried to clean the bed also, but it was impossible. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of blood? A little club soda and baking soda. I don't know, that's what Grandma always said. The presence took control of me. Oh God, please forgive me, Charles. Please forgive me, everyone. I keep doing that to get out of this. So... Knocking. That's great. Okay, we got some floppy disks. I'm afraid to turn around. I am so zoomed in with this camera that's not even funny. What am I? Hi. Equipped. Well. The baby's gone. If against wood. All right. Oh, jeez. Julia Journal number 12. Escape. 
The locals used to remember me as a beloved local healer, not a revengeful type. To the person that is reading this, this is my confession. I, Julia, murdered my husband Charles. I locked him inside this coffin after I killed one of my patients and ate a part of their brain in the diner room. Dinner room. I could hear Charles gasping for air and yelling for hours. When the silence finally came, I took a final glance at his lifeless body. After this, I went to the tallest tree outside the bathroom window and hung myself, for I knew this evil spirit has taken over me, will bring me back even more powerful, but on one condition. I can never leave this place unless I destroy it completely, and unless a living soul discovers my secret. If you are reading this, you are already dead. Um... Oh, Jesus. Nope. Escape the house. I'm I'm trying to escape the house. Holy fucking, oh god. I'm gonna die. I swear to god though, the way out, okay. And I died because she caught me! Yay! The end! Perdita, a game by as a game studio thank you for that great tip so i was able to finish it if you like the game as always the link will be in the description like comment and subscribe thank you and have a good night